Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the Geoforce GTX 1080 Founders Edition and a small basic overclock that you can do just to give yourself a tiny bit more frames per second when playing at 4K resolution. Uh, obviously, you'll get better gains if you're playing at um, lower resolutions. So this is MSI Afterburner that I'm using to perform the overclock. And this profile at the moment that's loaded is the basic factory setting with no tweaks other than a custom fan profile to keep the uh, temperatures down to about 70 degrees and I can just quickly show you that there that's my custom fan profile um, very easy to do right so we'll use rise of the tomb raider as a the example here we will use the benchmark tool in the game and we'll run it using two profiles one non overclocked and the other one overclocked and here are the options just so you can see that they are there's no uh, anti-aliasing and the v-sync is switched off and the graphics are on their maximum ultra or very high settings um, the maximum that they could go to obviously pure hair is on the maximum and the only thing we've changed is we've turned the film grain to off right so let's start the benchmark So this is the standard factory profile and um, basically you'll go through these three scenes and you'll get an average for each one and then we'll obviously compare once we've got the results. I must also stress though I am recording using um, NVIDIA Shadow Play which takes away two to three frames per second at 4K. Uh, I am recording it at very high bit rate um, so that is impacting the performance um, but obviously both runs will have the same sort of impact so they'll still be quite comparable. And I must say it looks absolutely stunningly gorgeous in 4k and the details are really fantastic um, I think for a lot of people as well you know you're you're gonna play the game at between 40 and 50 frames per second so it's not quite hitting 60 frames per second but you could dial back some of the options and to reach that figure if you so choose but I mean for me personally um I'm quite happy playing this game at 40 to 50 frames per second. Okay, and we have the results. So let's make a note of these results. Overall score was 47.96. So that's the standard settings. If we go back to the profile, we'll change it to my custom overclock. Oh, we seem to have crashed Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we'll load that up again in a second. Right. So I've increased the power limit to 112 from 100. Uh, the core clock to 204. And the memory clock to 495. Obviously you can push it much higher than that. Um, so we'll apply that. So that's now running. We'll quickly boot up Rise of the Tomb Raider again. excuse me I don't know why that stopped working and then we'll run the same benchmark again with those exact same options and let's see if we can beat 47.96 rise of the tomb raider So as I was saying, yeah, I'm quite happy playing the game at 4K resolution uh, around 40 to 50 frames per second. Um, if you think about the Xbox One original, that was capped at 30 frames per second. Um, so yeah, I mean, developers will say that you get a more cinematic experience at 30 compared to 60, but again, it's personal preference. Obviously, I would prefer it at 60, but... I like to keep the settings on as high as they can go. Now obviously if you had a SLI 
um, two GTX 1080s, you'd comfortably maintain 60 frames per second. So, 47.96 to beat. Can we do it? There's one thing I will say is that um, a lot of aftermarket cards are, are boasting that they can improve the uh, performance by, you know, 7% uh, over the Founders Edition. Um, and they obviously come pre-clocked, overclocked uh, from the factory. But I'm going to wager that we can possibly get more than that. So... I can't remember all the figures. You'll have to rewind the video and compare. But the overall score is 47.96. And we have got 51.58. So that's an extra three and a half frames per second overall in the overall score. Um, which is probably around 7% um, off the top of my head. But obviously if you look at the... Um, averages for each level they will also be an improvement okay i think that gives you a good idea of a very basic overclock you can obviously push it a bit more than what i've done here but that's just something you can mess around with and um i'll be honest with you i've seen as high as 10 percent gains at 4k resolution with other games that i've tried with the same sort of benchmark and the same sort of profiles Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.